both Kevin and Paul brought up some really good points, and I thought one of the big points to really reiterate here is the idea of the inner dialectic. You know, kind of talking with yourself, having that your own thought in your head, and, and kind of going through the process of making sure it relates back to reality and asking yourself questions, and that's really uh, where our freedom lies. And, you know, it's interesting that he pointed out that he always argues with himself and nothing seems to ever survive. And I just think that's such a powerful statement because what it shows is that he maintains a certain level of openness to um, any certain situation or whatever, or context, or whatever he's trying to learn, you know, what it, whatever it might be. So, Well, why doesn't it survive, Tony? When he starts out, and, and what's the process do? Why doesn't it survive? And what specifically happens when you go through that process with yourself? <laughs> well, when you go through that process with yourself, you find a lot of the truths that you held weren't exactly what they were taught to us to be. And uh, I think that's exactly what the schooling system is then designed to do. Because the process that you truth. just described, the process you just described is a process of eliminating contradictions and eliminating arbitrary when there's no evidence or facts to substantiate, etc. And so it's a process of identification of that which exists or has substantial a, a, a basis in reality. Which requires a method of asking questions first and foremost. And that process or method, I like to think of it that way, uh, is really that impetus, that first, you know, ignition, that spark you need to discover certain truths and to open up to certain questions that you yourself wouldn't have dared touch before. And I think that's really where, you know, he got started in understanding that why is he doing this? You know, when he started asking the questions and understanding that the children are already equipped enough to learn, they have their own ability. And just uh, having raw experience shows how much more effective that is and uh, that uh, this idea of the artificial extension of childhood uh, forcing us through the schooling system is intentionally put there. And uh, his willingness to open up to the history of the schooling system, and what we'll go into more, uh, really you know, shines through, I think, with his own, how much he had to go through his own inner dialectic and his own process of discovering truth. Well, I think it's important well, that he shows, like, even at his age, that he's, he's not entirely sure what he thinks until he thinks about these things right. and considers other perspectives that haven't been directly presented to him, etc. So I think what he's demonstrating is that he's he's showing a lifelong habit that you know he's gotten uh, to use the idiom he's gotten bitten before by not thinking by just accepting what he's been told because he realized that the people who have been informing him haven't been using a, a methodology to validate the contents of their mind and therefore thereby they've been you know passing around erroneous information unwittingly nationally, however you want to see it.